Hi Roboticist, welcome back in this new video where we are gonna spawn our robot in Gazebo with the Move It Motion Planning plugin. And so as you can see here, we are gonna um, ask the robot to go from one position to another position with uh, RVs, with the Motion Planning plugin and we will see uh, that uh, uh, the robot will make uh, the motion planning uh, accordingly directly in uh, this uh, simulation environment so make sure to stay till the end of this video to figure it out uh, how we are gonna do that. Uh, I can assure you that it will be totally worth it. And as always, I remember you that if you like this kind of video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to do not miss the next topic where we are gonna talk and we're gonna learn how to program robots in ROS. So that's all for this introduction and let's get into it. So uh, before to write uh, um, the interfacing uh, uh, between uh, um, our robots, uh, motion planning and gazebo, I just want you to do a step back and explaining you uh, how we can uh, spawn the um, joint controllers using the ROS controllers um, function in ROS. So um, if you remember well from uh, the series of uh, ROS controller, if you don't remember, I'm gonna put the link uh, right now. Um, so if you remember, uh, we had to solve the problem where we have our ROS application and uh, Gazebo, which is an external software. And we needed to create, if you remember, a configuration file for each joint that we have created in our URDF file. So we have described and we have modeled our robots with our links and with our our um, controllers and for each controllers we have set up an effort controllers joint position controller what does it mean it means that in the software we are gonna uh, give to each joint a position and in real time or better in the simulation environment the robot will give as a hardware interface the efforts um, controller will give an efforts value to each joint okay and then we have created our launch file where we have um, we were be able to spawn the robot in a gazebo okay and we have spawned also the controllers thanks to the controller manager package so again uh, we have ROS and gazebo and uh, we have created um, uh, the controllers configuration and the launch file okay so this is what we have done in the last series of video but uh, what we have now now we have move it in the middle if you think and so we cannot make a interaction between ROS and gazebo without passing to the move it or the motion planning plugin let's say so if we want to spawn our robots and our joint controllers in gazebo using the move it um, plugin and all the special motion planning algorithm what we need to do we need to interact 
was with move it and then interact move it with gazebo how we're gonna do that so first we are gonna um, create in the package of move it the follow follow joint trajectory controllers for each controller uh, for each joint and then uh, we are gonna um, create a launch file where we're gonna use the move it controller controller manager that will be different from the one that we have uh, coded last time and once that we have created these two files then we are gonna do something similar that we have done in the last series where we have created a yom file or better configuration file for each uh, joint uh, we have um, set up as of type position controllers joint position controller and then we have create and we are going to create a launch file where we're going to spawn the robots and the controller manager in gazebo where we're going to use this uh, yom file okay i hope that you got the the point and uh, you have a better overview of uh, what we're gonna do right now so at the end in order to make it this happen this communication happen we're gonna create four files two files that will be inside the um, configuration package that uh, we have created thanks to the setup assistant tool and then two other files that will be in our package where we simulate our robots okay so let's get started first of all we need to create the configuration file uh, for um, the move it package so let's go inside the uh, configuration um, a package that has been created from the setup assistant and here I have some uh, other package but the one that we have created last time is gonna be a cobot move it uh, config so let's uh, go inside that and uh, type uh, change directory cobot move it config and then uh, open visual studio code in this uh, folder okay uh, in uh, um, this uh, folder we have uh, uh, this uh, file automatically generated the configuration files and all the launch files so first of all let's start to modify the, the ROS controller yum file okay this is automatically generated and uh, my suggestion here is uh, uh, to uh, comment out uh, this uh, then we will uh, create uh, another uh, controller that is going to be joint state controller type so why we are doing that because uh, the ROS uh, controller yum file automatically generated uh, is uh, um, has some uh, defection because he doesn't uh, uh, take into account the namespace that we want to have for our robot and there are some minor changes that we need to do so in my opinion the best way uh, will be uh, to uh, create it from scratch in order to follow our uh, method so first uh, let's comment out everything here okay let's start uh, to create our joint state controller so joint state controller 
then this uh, will be of type uh, uh, John state controller slash John state controller. Then we're gonna put a publish rate of 50. And then we're gonna set up our controller list. Then uh, it will be for the arm controller and the gripper controller. And we're gonna put uh, the namespace, which is very important. Otherwise, uh, the controller manager will not recognize uh, the controller group uh, that we have uh, set up. So let's type controller list. Then let's start with the first one that we are gonna call uh, with the proper namespace uh, cobots, uh, then arm controller, then uh, the action nick namespace will be follow joint trajectory the type is gonna be follow joint trajectory which is related to the follow joint trajectory action This is depending on the action that the move it uh, framework is gonna use because he's gonna use the follow joint trajectory action. So we need to create um, a type of controller accordingly to what move it is using. So then we need to assign indicate the joint that we want to be controller with this action so the joint will be the one that we have set up in our URDF file so these joints are the base link link one and so on and so forth if you don't remember, just uh, go uh, to the URDF file and uh, check uh, um, the, the name of the joint that we have set up, but you can uh, see it here, so uh, we can just copy and paste here. Because these are automatically generated from the setup assistant tool. Okay, now we have assigned uh, the action namespace uh, follow joint trajectory uh, controller uh, to all uh, this uh, uh, joint, the joint uh, of our robot, and we need to do the same um, with uh, another, uh, another type of controller that will be the gripper controller. So we can just copy and paste this. and add the joint that composed our grippers. So the name of this controller will be namespaced cobots and then gripper controller. Then the are, we keep this the same and then we have the gripper right joint and the gripper left joint that will be a mimic type okay save it and this uh, will be our uh, ROS controllers configuration file for move it so it will be able to interact ROS environment with the move it environment with the action 
follow joint trajectory action that move it want to control the joints. So we can save and now what we need to do is to create the launch file to spawn these um, controllers in move it environment. So let's go to the launch folder and let's uh, create a new file and we can call it cobot underscore move it controller manager dot launch so we can um, we can say that uh, this launch file will spawn the controller manager for move it So uh, for uh, spawn the uh, move it uh, controller manager we need to set up the arguments for the package that uh, we are going to use Then we need to set up a parameter, the name will be always move it controller manager and we're gonna set up a value and this value will be the argument that we have just written before. Then what uh, we need to do now is to load the ROS controllers to the parameter server and just put a comment here And we're gonna take it from the file that is automatically generated thanks to the move it setup assistant and then we need to find so we will need to find in our package cobots move it config in the folder config and we need to take this file here the ROS controllers yum file that we have just created ROS controllers dot yum Here we go. So we have completed the interface between ROS and MoveIt. So we have created our configuration file that allows the joint of our URDF file to be controlled by the follow joint trajectory action of MoveIt. And then we have launched the MoveIt controller manager. So now what we need to do is to create a configuration file and a launch file that will allow MoveIt to interact with Gazebo, which is another software external one. So let's do that. 
and uh, what we need to do is uh, to open our um, folder of the package that we have created in the previous video. I remember you that uh, this, uh, um, this uh, uh, package will be available on uh, GitHub in uh, the link uh, that I put in the description down below. So here you can see uh, the last uh, workspace uh, that we have, I have opened last time. Okay, so um, first of all, uh, let's create uh, the config uh, file. So if I remember to you that uh, this is uh, the um, controller uh, configuration file that uh, we have uh, set up before and this uh, will be uh, effort controllers joint position controller so we need to change that accordingly to what move it want to be controlled so let's uh, first create a file where we put uh, the joint state uh, controller for the cobot uh, will be the same like this so i'm just open this i'm just copying it and i'm creating a file that i'm gonna call it cobot then joint states Yum file and this so I'm gonna copy and paste here so from here nothing new Then what we need to do is to create another file, another config file, and we're gonna call it a trajectory control.yum file. Here we go. We create an arm controller and a gripper controller with the namespace of cobot so i'm gonna type cobot then the first controller list that is gonna be arm controller this controller will be of type Position controllers, joint trajectory controller. So, what uh, this uh, type of controller means, uh, I want to repeat this. So, position controllers uh, slash joint trajectory controllers means uh, that as an input uh, from software point of view, you are gonna give a joint trajectory controller and there will be as out as hardware interface a position controllers so in this manner this controller is designed in such a way that from input software point of view you're gonna give to your joint a joint trajectory controller and as an output to the hardware this joint trajectory data will be translated in a position controller for each joint. So pay attention to this because it will be something that will come up later on and you will see in a few minutes. 
So what kind of uh, joint uh, needs to be controller with this uh, type uh, position controllers, uh, joint trajectory controller? Well, the wall joints uh, and this joint will be the same. Then we need uh, uh, to put our constraints. This is the way how you configured this kind of controller. So you need to set the goal time. And I'm gonna put some value here and feel free to change this value from the configuration file accordingly uh, to your uh, robot model. You need uh, to tweak, uh, let's say, this parameter that I'm going to write in right now. So then we need a stopped velocity tolerances. That will be 0 0.05. And then I'm gonna put uh, the trajectory uh, value and goal value. You can think of this parameter as uh, it is uh, a PID controller. Then set up uh, the stop trajectory duration and put it uh, 0 0.5. Then state publish rate let's put 25 and then final action monitor rate let's put it 10 Okay, we have done with this uh, um, ARM controller configuration and we can make the same for the gripper controller. So here we go. We have set up our configuration file in such a way that the joint trajectory controller of our joint will interact with move it and then it's time to create our launch file that will be able to spawn the controller manager using this configuration file for each joint so let's go to the launch folder so at the end the file will be similar to this. So let's create another file in the launch file and just call it cobot, then bring gap, Move it. Launch file. So this is going to be a launch file. So first we need to launch Gazebo. So this will be something very similar to the launch file that we have created. 
in the, the last video. So we have, uh, I remember you that uh, we have uh, uh, put in the robot description parameter uh, our chakra file cobot camera that will contain also the, the gripper. I remember you. We need to spawn the cobot. joint states yum file and the trajectory control yum file Then we need uh, to uh, activate uh, the node uh, robot state publisher uh, with uh, remapping the joint states uh, to uh, the uh, cobot namespace uh, uh, joint states. And this is something that uh, we have already did in the last video, so we can take it and just copy and paste. Here. Do the same for the joint state publisher node. So we will need to include planning context launch file that will be belonging to the package created from the move it setup assistant cobot move it config and in this uh, package we need to find in the folder launch the file that is called planning underscore context dot launch file We need to pass as an argument the value file, the value false to the name load robot description. And then we need to do the same for another very important launch file named move group. So just copy for saving time and just change the name of the launch file. Then we need to pass uh, as the name of the arguments uh, publish monitored planning chain the value true.
and the last uh, if we want to be able to control our robot uh, uh, from the move it RVs GUI we need to launch the move it RVs launch file and then as argument to RVs config We need to set the value so very important thing here before to close we need to spawn our controller manager which is the key of this launch file and let's do it here Then of course uh, we need uh, to spawn uh, the robot using the package uh, gazebo ROS. And now it should be okay. So let's test it out and see what happens. Okay, here you can see your robots and then if we press play, we see that it's falling down. It seems uh, that uh, our controllers are not uh, spawned correctly. So, in fact, uh, as you can see from the error, we are gonna say that uh, we failed in load ARM controller. So, in your opinion, why that? What uh, we have made wrong? So think about it and pause this video to figure it out. Okay, so I hope that you figure it out and this is something very, very, very tricky. And so um, if you remember, in the joint trajectory uh, controller YOM file, I said to that that your controller, armor controller and the gripper controller as well, has of type of controller, position controller, joint trajectory controller. So in the software, we are gonna control the joint with the joint trajectory actions and then as hardware or better in the simulation environment we are gonna set to each joint a position controller so this is something that for sure will be related to the hardware interface so think about it when have we set up the hardware interface in our simulation environment Correct, in our URDF file. So let's open the URDF file and go in the Chakra file where we have defined our transmission tag, which is here. So here we go. We have the definition of our joint and then here we have the transmission tag for the end we have extended to each joint and then here we need to change 
this hardware interface and passing from hardware interface effort joint interface to position joint interface. So if you have followed uh, my series in this channel, we have, you have to uh, make this adjustment to allow the model of your joint to be interfaced correctly with the controllers that we have set up in this file that allows the move it framework to interact with. Okay, now it should work. Let's spawn it again. Don't worry to this error if you don't uh, have set up uh, the pit game. So the simulation started with pause it. Then if we press play, what happened? Okay, it stands. This is a good sign. So now we should have everything to control our robot in the simulation environment using the Move It Motion Planning plugin. So let's try to do that. So let's try to make it simple and pass from the current one to the home one. Okay, let's plan and execute. You can see here that it's starting moving, okay? So you have uh, this uh, animation here that uh, is uh, continuing doing in loop uh, the trajectory planning that is gonna make and then slowly, very slowly, the cobot is uh, following this trajectory. So it seems that works. So, after that uh, is reached the position, we can change uh, the uh, velocity scaling and acceleration scaling and see what happens. Okay, we can see that finally the robot has reached the goal position. So now what we can do here is to uh, make it quicker and let's put for example velocity scaling 0.6 and acceleration of 0.2 and see what happens. So now feel free to play with your robot. Uh, let me see what uh, we can do here. We can make like this uh, and go here. Okay, let's see if uh, at this condition uh, there will be uh, a solution for the inverse kinematic problem. Let's uh, plan and execute. Then you can see that the animation change and then the robot uh, you can see now that uh, is reaching the goal position 
uh, quicker, let's say. You can see here, so it seems uh, that uh, we reached our goal. So let's try with this position and uh, make it uh, quicker. Let's see what's happened. Okay, there's a solution for this inverse kinematic problem. And you can see that uh, the robot uh, is uh, reaching uh, the goal position using uh, the joint trajectory controller action. Okay, everything uh, seems uh, to work. And now I want to recap uh, what uh, we have uh, done in this video and uh, uh, the goal uh, that we have accomplished. So let's close everything. So in our Cobot Movie Config, we have created the configuration file we have changed the configuration file that was automatically generated to this configuration file that allows ROS to interact with Move It. Then we have created our Cobot Move It controller manager that is the controller manager for Move It. Then in the cob simulation file we have created the cobot joint state file which spawned the joint state controller and the trajectory control where we have uh, assigned to each controller a position controller joint trajectory controller and i remember you that the hardware interface of your URDF file or better the transmission tag will need to be changed from what? from the effort joint interface to position joint interface this is very very important and then we have so we have this one and finally we have created our launch file that allows to spawn the controller manager for the trajectory controller YOM file that we have created before and this combination of configuration file and launch file will need to allow Movid to interact with Casibo. So thanks for your attention. I hope that you enjoyed this video and now uh, you can be proud of yourself because finally if you reach correctly the end of this video now you are be able to control 
a robot in a simulation environment using the Move It motion planning plugin in RVs. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up. And if you want to support uh, the channel, uh, give a donation to uh, the PayPal link in the description down below. It will be very appreciated uh, if you do that. So you can support me uh, to uh, find the time uh, to uh, put uh, uh, this kind uh, of video. So again, congratulations and uh, keep learning robotics with Ross.